So hi and welcome to this video. So uh, hmm. this isn't um, a video that's going to be part of a series or anything. It's just a random video that sometimes I'm just going to make to, um, I don't know, sort of mix it up a bit. Because it would get kind of boring if all my channel did was making a social network and uh, a few BHP tutorials. So um, today what we're going to be doing is... Well, um, I'm going to be teaching you the uh, how to keep your passwords in, a, in how to keep your passwords in a database secure. So um, let's just make a variable called password, and yes, it's going to be called password. And we can echo it. Okay, so here we have. Um, just the word password obviously and uh, we've already made um, a fairly crucial mistake so uh, as most of you already know the word password isn't a secure password which before we've done anything to um, make it more secure we're already sort of putting ourselves at a disadvantage so it's better to um, sort of think of a password that no one uses, I know you're told this like all the time. So even if you were, uh, if you said password, but even if you put your date of birth or whatever at the end of it, or your first name, or I don't know, your surname, um, even just by doing that, you've made it more secure already. But that's not what we're going to be teaching. That's not what I'm going to be teaching you how to do today. So, um, I'm going to create a new variable. Gonna be new pass. Well, let's say fixed password, and it's gonna equal password. So now we can just echo fixed password instead, and as you'll see, there's no difference because at the moment fixed password just equals password, which equals the word password. So uh, as I said earlier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my first name at the end of it because it's already more secure now. And um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously encrypt it. So the uh, standard way people encrypt things is MD5. So if we uh, do that and we refresh the page, we get a string that is uh, 32 characters long. And... It is the MD5. Uh, this 32 character long string is the MD5 of the string password or of the string password Francis. But this is really unsecure even with the uh, MD5 encryption because you can decrypt MD5. Uh, so the uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another f level of encryption called SHA1. And we're going to put that around it. So now the first thing it's going so uh, now this function is going uh, not function. Now the variable fixed password is the MD5 of password and then the SHA1 of the password as well. And we will get a new MD5 string. And uh, the main difference between uh, SHA1 and MD5 is well, it's really complicated and it doesn't matter so. All you need to know is SHA1 is more secure than MD5, but if we are, if we were to use both of them at the same time, well, that's just even better. So, um, refresh, and we get the uh, MD5 string of the SHA1 of the string password Francis. But we can't, we don't need to stop there. We can, um, do this thing called salting. And basically what salting is, is when you add like a random string onto the password. So instead of password fragile, if we would add a salt, we could, we could even add a very insecure salt, such as a salt. So it's just a string that you append onto it. So now, uh, the, okay, actually, let's just, it's easier to explain by doing it. So we're going to create a new variable called salt. And it's going to be equal to MD5 of 
um, string. So oh, we could just do that. So now, if we were to echo salt and actually append a break tag. So this is our salt and this is our um, password with MD5 and SHA1 encryption on it. So uh, basically what we're doing is adding this onto uh, the word password. So in the, before it's encrypted with MD5 it'll look like this. So uh, to do this what we're going to do is just very simply um, put a dot and then just the word salt and refresh and this uh, should change and as you saw it did change which is because the SHA1 value of salt the uh, original variable is different to this variable plus this variable and to keep it even more secure we can add um, we could add another salt at the start of the word, and this could just be anything, it doesn't matter. So, the salt could be Francis, and we could uh, also SHA1 the salt. And append uh, salt2 onto the start of the password. Now if we echo it out, we get another SHA1 value, but if we copy this line and we uh, change it to password finished, and we just remove this and refresh, oh, and of course we need to echo it out. So uh, let's copy this, paste it down, and here is our finished password before it's encrypted with MD5. And uh, let's add a break and echo another one. So this is the uh, finished string that we are going with. If you were adding this to a database, this is a lot more secure than just uh, using the original string. And it's way more secure than just using MD5 or SHA1 to um, do it, to uh, encrypt it. So uh, um, I hope you understood everything. So, uh, and just in case I didn't explain it, salting is just the process of adding a string on top of another one uh, to make it more secure against like hacking or whatever. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, like and favorite the video if you uh, enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, don't for well, that's it. So, I uh, see you next time.